Once upon a time, in a library near you, This year's summer reading program's theme is Imagine Your Story. Imagine your story? Imagine your story? It's hard to use my imagination when so many things are different this year and there's no one in the library to talk to. All right, I'd better reach out to a friend. I'll go outside and call Lupe in California. She's got a great imagination and she might have some advice. Hey Lupe, how are you? Hi, B. How's it going? What are you up to? Uh, well, I'm supposed to be exploring my imagination to come up with a story. But I'm just feeling really discouraged lately and kind of alone, and I'm having a hard time coming up with anything. Oh. Do you have any suggestions? Yeah. I've felt like that before. You know what? My friend Shane Alexander, he has this great song that always lifts my spirits. Would you like to hear it? Oh, Lupe, you know I love music. Will you sing it for me? <laughs> you got it. The road is long And the way ahead is still uncertain So what's your story gonna be? What's your story? Find your glory Travel far as Nemo and Tori Come on, what's your story? It's one of my favorites and always has a great way of cheering me up. Oh, that was great, Lupe. Thank you. And remember, if obstacles arise, don't you be afraid. Keep your eyes on the prize, all right? Gotta go. See you later, B. Take care. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm inspired to get creative. I'm not much of a singer, so I'm gonna get out the art supplies and imagine my story. Hey, Vern. Hi, B. Hey. How are you doing with that summer reading project? Ah, oh, well, to be honest, I'm not having a very easy time of it. It seems like I can't do anything right and I keep making mistake after mistake after mistake. Oh, I understand. Try to calm down, take some deep breaths. Whew, okay. <gasps> so, hey, listen, 
I was just reading this book that I was thinking about for story time that talks about how making mistakes can be an opportunity to make something great. Um, can you take a couple of deep breaths and let me share it with you? Thanks, Vern. That would be really nice. Beautiful Oops by Barney Salzberg. Shared with permission from the author and from Workman Publishing Company. Oops, a torn piece of paper is just the beginning. Every spill has lots of possibilities. Bent paper is something to celebrate. A little drip of paint lets your imagination run wild. A scrap of paper can be fun to play with. A smudge and a smear can make magic appear. A stain has potential if you play with its shape. Holes in your paper are worth exploring. When you think you've made a mistake, oops, think of it as an opportunity to make something beautiful. And that's the end. Okay, remember, mistakes are part of the process. So don't worry, just remember to breathe and relax and try to have fun. I'm going to create. I'm going to create. Eh, I'm going to waste some time on my phone instead. Maybe look at some memes. <laughs> Maybe call my friend Melody. Hi, B. Hey, Melody. I'm procrastinating a creative project I'm supposed to be doing, and I thought I'd call you as part of that procrastination process. What are you up to? I'm just prepping for story time and uh, just read this most amazing book. What's going on with you? Oh, well, I'm trying to imagine my story, and I don't feel like singing, and I've used up all my art supplies, and I wish I was with my friends. It just feels like I'm low on everything, including my imagination. This book talks about that exact thing. Let me read it to you. What If, written by Samantha Berger, illustrated by Mike Curado. Read with permission by the publisher, Little Brown and Company. With a pencil and paper, I write and draw art to create many stories that come from my heart. But what if that pencil one day disappeared? I'd fold up the paper till stories appeared. And what if that paper was no longer there? I'd chisel the table and then carve the chair. And what if there wasn't a chair here at all? I'd chip and I'd peel at the paint on the wall. And what if there wasn't a wall anymore? I might build a story from boards in the floor. Without any floor, I could still use the land and sketch out a tail in the dirt with my hand. I could still shape the leaves. I could still sculpt the snow. I could still plant the flowers and make kingdoms grow. Without any land, I would still use the light. Invent shadow stories the sun would ignite. If there was no light, I would still use my voice to sing out my stories, to chant and rejoice. I'd still have my body to twist and to bend, to dance out my stories beginning to end. If I had nothing but still had my mind, there'd always be stories to seek and to find. If I know nothing but one bit of fate, as long as I live, I will always create. As long as I live, I will always create. The end. So see, you don't need fancy things to be creative. It's all in you. That was really sweet, Melody. Thanks. I'll see you later. Later, B. Ugh, I love her, but she's so positive and encouraging all the time. Does she really understand the despair of an artist? That was a good book, though. And in the end, 
she had nothing but her body and her mind to create with. So maybe I'll try performing. My body is my instrument. Uh, no. Hey, speaking of performers, how are you, Dave? I'm just killing some time, hanging out at the curbside delivery at my local library. Yeah, what about you? Hey, what do you do when you're trying to imagine your story, but you're just not feeling very imaginative? Yeah, look around. Everywhere. Inspiration is everywhere, right? In fact, what's up behind you there? All those boxes? Those are just some extra boxes. Yeah. Are they just boxes? Hmm? Are they? Yeah. Maybe they're more than that. Maybe they are a rocket ship heading into outer space. Maybe they could be a boat sailing on the high seas for adventure. Maybe they're a locomotive heading to a Jethro Tull concert. You don't know. But you can imagine what they are. Maybe it's a big book, a big cardboard book you open up. Anyway, there's a lot of ways to tell that story and a lot of imagination just in some boxes. You know, it's funny. You can help. You can get people like Vern and, uh, let's see, Melody and Deanna and all the people at the library to give you a hand. And uh, Great. Thanks, Dave. And that totally reminded me of a good book. Okay, I got to go. Hello. Okay. Bye. Hello. Bye. Okay. Bye. Not a Box by Antoinette Portis and used with permission from HarperCollins Publishing. Not a Box. To children everywhere sitting in cardboard boxes. Why are you sitting in a box? It's not a box. What are you doing on top of that box? It's not a box. Why are you squirting a box? I said it's not a box. Now you're wearing a box? This is not a box. Are you still standing around in that box? It's not, 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 not a box. Well, what is it then? It's my not a box. I've got it. And now I see that the answer is in me. Think about you and me Driving all around a big country All the wonderful things we'll see On the road to our story to our story imagine all the places where we soon will be riding down the road to our story let's begin Armenia and Brazil Colombia Denmark England France Guatemala and Haiti Thailand and Japan Kazakhstan the salt of Mexico Nicaragua Oman and Portugal Qatar Rwanda Samoa and Tonga Mercury, 
be Venus and Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune into the stars. Who knows where the story ends? Well, I guess that just depends on To our story, imagine all the places where we soon will be. Riding down the road to our story. Remember to sign up for summer reading. Well, looks like everything worked out for B and Antoinette. They got to imagine their story. And you know what? If you want to prompt your imagination and you want to jumpstart your imagination, the library is a really great place to do that. What's your story? Why don't you imagine your story? Imagine your story. Imagine your story. Imagine your story. It was the best of times and the worst of times. Imagine your story that your pages unfurl. Imagine your story and tell it to the world. Maya Angelou said everybody's got one. A story that is in your imagination. So imagine your story and tell it to the world. Story. 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 